Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe for more podcasts like this. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. So I'm going to be trying on a few YesStyle accessories, makeup stuff that I got. And I'm also going to be showing you guys some, or not showing, like sharing my tips for shopping on YesStyle, how to get the biggest discount you can, and just a bunch of things kind of like that. And Honestly, I'm so excited. I have all the stuff opened in front of me, but this is kind of like my first impressions because I literally just opened it up five seconds ago. I would have opened it up like right in front of you because I know, but but I also know that like the sound of this is so like crinkly and in your face. So I just decided to open it all. And the first thing that we have is this shirt, I guess this crop top, you could say. I literally just put it on, so this is my first impression. It looks exactly as it does in the picture. Oh, and I forgot to mention, <laughs> make sure you use my code Lobby Irene if you are interested in purchasing any of these items and everything will be linked below in order because I know like some YouTubers don't put it in order. So I'm like, which jean is it anyway? It'll all be in order, um, linked for you guys. But this crop top is just kind of like this. And um, I don't know what else to say. It's exactly like the picture on YesStyle. And it's got these different prints, I guess. I think it's just a nice crop top to throw on for spring. And the sleeves are kind of like this, like a longer version of short sleeves, but not long sleeves either. And I also got this in a different color. And this color is um, like tangerine red. It's like exactly the same thing, except it's in a different color. So I think you can assume in the same size too. I don't know what size it is, but it will be linked. And I'll tell you guys what size it was. But it's just kind of like the same thing, but in different colors. I think I kind of like this one better just because it's a bit more patchural. <laughs> I was going to say pastel and natural at the same time. And that was pastoral. However, this one's a bit more pastel and more neutral tones and this one's a little bit more red obviously <laughs> and then the next clothing item like i don't have a lot of clothing items in this haul but all of my other yes style hauls that i have on my other channel that i will be uploading on my other channel have a bit more clothing this one is more accessories a bit more makeup and the next thing that i got is this bralette i guess why did i get th oh right <laughs> I was like, wait, so I was gonna just wear this under like crop tops because sometimes they're like v-necked and yeah, I just thought it would be nice to have. It's literally just white. It does have a bit of padding inside and it seems like it's my size. So yeah. And the next, oh, obviously the thing I'm wearing right now is this skirt. I wish I got it a size down. I'm pretty sure I got a medium just because I didn't want it to be too big, but you can kind of see like the waist. It could be a bit like tighter and the length could be a bit shorter. Oh, and I also have a bandage here. Fun story time. So I ran, not ran into, like I knocked into, like in school, I knocked into this like board thing and it has this giant like hole <laughs> under my knee now. Anyways, that's so unrelated. But I actually like this outfit because they're both pastel blue kind of tones. And yeah, it's cute. I just kind of wish I got my original size and I didn't size up because I thought it was gonna be too small. Maybe I should have checked the sizing. Oh, and the next thing, oh, I was so excited for this. I actually was not planning on getting this, but I thought it would be so fun. Okay, so first, it's like just this fuzzy bucket hat, I guess. I don't ha own a lot of bucket hats. So I don't think I actually own, maybe like one or two, but this one is so fuzzy, first of all, it's so nice. Like, it's very, very nice. Like, it's very fuzzy and very furry, perfect for winter, I would say. And I don't know why I'm wearing this in the middle of... <laughs> it's quite big. Like, you can... <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> like, it's very big, but... um, Yeah, it's quite big. What's this, like, one size? I have no clue. But I don't have, like, a small head either. I don't have, like, a big head. But just keep in mind that it could be a bit big. But it's kind of cute, right? <laughs> why? It looks like, like, ice cream. Like... Or I look like a mushroom. Mushroom ice cream. <laughs> okay, so that's what that is. A little bit disappointed in the size, but I love the texture. So if you think you've got like a bigger head, definitely go for this. Yeah. I think I'd say like I have an average size head. And the next thing is this beanie, I guess. And I got this for my sister because she said she wanted a beanie. And all of her hats have like the pom-poms on her thing. I'll just try it on. My sister won't mind. 
I, I don't look good in hats, you see. So I'm just gonna casually take that off, but you kind of have an idea of what that would be. The text, the texture, <laughs> the material is pretty nice. It's like very knit and it's also like expands. So if you have like a bigger head, that could also work with this. And it's kind of just like that, so you can fold it. Yeah. <laughs> and the next thing, oh, right. I was gonna give these um scrunchies to my friend should I give it to her tomorrow? Oh, actually, no, tomorrow. I don't go to school tomorrow. Oops. Well, she said she wanted these scrunchies, and so I got it for her. Shout out to my friend. And, um, yeah, that's kind of it. They're just kind of floral scrunchies. It's just a yellow one, and this is the purple one, both in one size. Oh, and the next thing that I got is, like, kind of trendy, I guess, and they are these hair clip claws. Hair claws. So right now I have my hair in a scrunchie, but let me just try it with this hair claw. And I also wanted to mention that I also have another color. This one is in like pinkish purplish and this one is in white. Let me just see the actual... Okay, so this one is the purple one and that one's called the mermaid. It's, it's white, but you can kind of see like rainbow colors on there. I don't know if you can see that. I think that's pretty cool. So let me just change this out with a hair claw. I was kind of scared of getting a hair claw because I had no idea how to use it, but they were kind of in trend and I think they look pretty comfy. Like, oh, nice. I like that. So I just literally took a piece of my hair that I like put in a scrunchie or yeah, put in a scrunchie that I tied it. And then I just literally clasped it on and it kind of just walls like that. Hmm. Yeah, I like it. Let me try like putting my entire hair out. I don't know if it'll fit because I have a lot of hair or like I have like pretty thick hair So it doesn't usually fit in this tiny hair hair claw They're like bigger ones too on yes style, but I Just got this one because I thought it the colors were nice. Oh Yeah, that also works <laughs> Maybe not both of them at the same time, but you kind of get the idea I think I'll, ha I'll have that mermaid one in because it looks cute you can't really see it, but from the back you could. I'll show you guys. I hope later on when I'm editing this, it doesn't look weird and I'm like, gosh, it was like that the entire time and I didn't know. And another thing, oh right, another thing that I got was this bow. I honestly don't know why I got it. I kind of just felt like it. And it just kind of like has that there, pretty much like any other bow. And should I just put it here? No. I'll put it where the hair claw is. A lot of hair accessories. I've actually never gotten that many hair accessories from Style, I don't believe. Um, so yeah, this will be a nice, nice change. So I'm just gonna grab that piece of hair and clip it in. That's kind of what it looks like from the front. And from the back, it would look like this. Keep in mind, I have no idea how it looks from the back. So I'm honestly just kind of guessing. It's more on the left. Also, I know this isn't really like a podcast, so don't come at me for that. I don't think anyone will. <laughs> Let me just put this back in. Hmm, great. So the next item that we have is this necklace, I guess. And let me just cut this. I forgot to pre-cut it beforehand. And what it is, is we've got first this chain, I guess. Let me just put this on. It's always a struggle for me to put on brace or necklaces for no reason at all. For no reason at all. This is working. I'm totally just guessing. Oh, it worked. Wow. Actually, I'm gonna put this back in a scrunchie just because I have like no idea how it looks right now. So, I mean, I can see myself right here. But still, I prefer the scrunchie for now because it is what I'm used to. And actually, I really like this top. It's very comfy. It like stretches too, <laughs> if you needed to know that. <laughs> so we've got that chain. And then next, we've got this key, I think it was. Or no, it was a lock. Yeah, so let me try that on as well. Oh my, it is a lucky day for me. It immediately, immediately, immediately works. 
Did you hear that? <laughs> My stomach just growled. Okay, so it's got that edgy look, which honestly is not totally like my vibe, I guess. But I think it would be nice to wear with outfits that do have an edgy look. Like this is like this pastel fun kind of top with this edgy look. So maybe this would go well with like outfits that are black. And sometimes you just have kind of like those v-neck shirts that you think might lack something in this area. So you add a necklace on, I think it would be great for this. Here's a little close up of that. Yes. <laughs> Let's take it off for now because, um, I don't know, I, I just feel like it. But yeah, I can't wait to give my friend the scrunchies because I was just like, okay, you want anything from here? Because, you know, she's a good friend. I don't think she'll be watching this though. She doesn't really watch my videos. Although she is a K-pop fan. She likes NCT. Yeah. Why did I make that face? Sorry. I, I don't mean that at NCT. I like NCT. Trust me, it was just a struggle to get this out. Her bias, actually she doesn't really have a bias. It's like either Taeyong or Yuta or Ten, like, you know, classic and citizen can't choose a bias to save their life. <laughs> okay, great, it's out. Whew. It's not like it was uncomfortable, I just didn't feel like wearing it. And the next thing that I have, let me just read this order list, is, oh yeah, I, I kind of splurged and got seven different colors of the same, same lip tint, I guess. So we're going to be not trying them on my thing because I have to like wash it off and do it again, but Maybe I'll choose like one color out of them and then put them on my arm. Is that what beauty gurus do? I have no idea what beauty gurus do. So we're going to be doing that. And then I also have eye glitter. I honestly don't know how to... I don't use makeup at all. Like right now and every time you're watching a video, I'm always just bare face. So yeah. I got two eye glitters along with the seven colors of lipstick that I have, lip tint that I have. And then I also got this free um, face care sachet. And yes, our orders sometimes come with these face care sachets. And this one is essentially just like this soap, I guess, like a sample of a black rice moist moisture soft cleansing gel is what it says in Korean there. <laughs> so let's get on with the eye glitter first. Maybe I'll try it on, like, I don't know. So the two, like, colors that I got is Valentine Pink, number two, and then Rose Coral, number three. So let's go with the number two, because two is before three, if you didn't know. <laughs> I hope you know that. Two is before three, guys. Surprise, surprise. Maybe I'm not failing math after all. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, it's pretty. So we've got this peach. It says peach C. I don't know why. And uh, do I also have to put this on my arm? I think I do. Where do I put this? Like, I don't know. Also, I have a class after, like an online class, but still. So I don't really want to like put it on, but then maybe I should. How do people put on eye glitter? I'm gonna Google this on my laptop because I have it right in front of me. Wow, that, that seems so planned. I swear it was not planned. How to put on eye glitter is what I'm going to Google. Bear with me, guys. I'm a first timer makeup or -er. like the only time I did makeup is like for performances. And that wasn't even me doing the makeup, like because my mom doesn't do makeup either. Like my dance teacher did it for me. Oh, so you kind of like put it like eyeshadow. Oh, I, I don't want to do that. Oh, maybe I'll draw like a little heart. Yeah, that seems more like me rather than the full-on eye thing. So let's first put the little sample onto my arm. Is this working out? So that's kind of what it, you can't really see it. This is a problem. Can you even see that? I put a heart there. It feels like wet-ish. I don't think you can see it. 
Well, um, I've got no idea if, if, if it's showing or not. That's the color. Let's compare it with the second color, which is number three, um, Rose Coral. Rose Coral, got it. I guess this will be like a deeper shade, less, less pinkish, more red. Yeah, so compare number two to number three. It's a little bit darker and more red. I think this one will show a bit more visibly. Oh yes, very much so. So I think because it's like, no, I don't know. Like you can really see the glitter there compared to number two where it's just kind of like a shiny sparkly thing. Me talking like I'm some expert. I honestly have no clue what I'm talking about. So the about the seven, oh no. I got it on my leg, the arm, because I, do you want to see guys? No, I'm not going to show you my leg, that's weird, <laughs> and that would be too much work. Okay, so about the seven lip tints that I got, we'll start with the first one, which is 01 Melting. That is the color, Melting. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. And it is just kind of this red sort of color. It says melting there. So let's try that. Oh, it's quite thick. Mm -hmm. I have this video, like this is like a big, big spoiler. But I have this video plan on my other channel where I kind of have to put on makeup. Like that's kind of like the theme of the video. Like it's not going to be some makeup tutorial, obviously, because I just said I don't do makeup. But it's... It's, yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be an iconic video, I can tell. I actually originally filmed it before, like months, months ago. And actually it was so, so serious of a video that my sister had to film it for me and she was like pissed off. <laughs> but yeah, I filmed it before, but the lightning was ch terrible, not trash. Actually, it was kind of trash. And it was just bad, so I decided to refilm it, but I haven't gone to that yet. But the script, the everything is just so perfect, and I cannot wait to film the video and show you guys. And while I was blabbing on and on, I pulled out the number two, and this color is called Joyful. Joy. That has no correlation with Red Velvet, but we're going to go with it anyway, because I am a Rev Revel Love, and we are in the drought right now, so... That kind of sucks. So here is, why does it like go left by time? Um, anyway, that's number two or number one and that's number two. So that one was uh, melting and that one was joyful. Yeah, that is that. By the way, I didn't buy all of the colors cause that would just be crazy. But coincidentally, I do have a number three and that one is called the pep, not Pepsi. <laughs> Percy Red, sorry, I almost said Pepsi. I just said Pepsi. What, what am I go? where am I going with this? Okay, so this one is a bit of a darker red, I guess, more like burgundy. Bur burgundy, that's how you say it, right? Oh God. So people are like always commenting on my most popular or second most popular video, how I pronounce debut, like debut. And that's how you say it in Korean. And I'm making a video here about K-pop schedule for training. Like a Korean pop, not American pop. So I don't know why they're making fun of the way I say like um, debut. Because I'm going to continue to say debut. Debut, debut, debut. <laughs> yeah, okay. So that's number three, Percy Red. Oh, that's kind of more of a... Um, I don't know, you judge for yourself. This is so bad. I actually saw Maddie as me's video and hers was so neat, like actual lines. And then there's mine. <laughs> what, what, what up? What is up with it? What up with this? What is up with this? Okay. And I also have a number four, which is called Burnt Heart. All of these shades are kind of similar to one another, but not really at the same time. I think I would say these are right in the middle of a tint and a lipstick. It's not that like lipsticky, I guess, because it's more like less matte compared to a lipstick, but it's still quite matte, I guess, compared to like a lip gloss. So you could think of it like right in the middle. So this is what that color looks like. This one is the Burnt Heart. So yeah, you can definitely tell it's more burgundy. 
<laughs> okay, moving on from that is number four, right? We have to go in number order. That's just the only way. Oh, right. Number eight. So we're jumping from like four to eight. And this one is called I see. I see that I'm I see. <laughs> And they all come with like these strips of paper, which I'm supposed, it says like date of use, which makes sense. Like, so you know when you started, so they don't expire, I guess. How long do these go? Like, I have no clue because I'm definitely not going to finish these. <laughs> like, I don't know where to wear these, like, you know, because I'm not going to go to school with this because first, like, it's literally, we, we wear masks. So I don't know how we, I would actually do that. <laughs> And I'm not going to wear them for my videos because, you know, maybe maybe like once in a while because I have other stuff too, like lip gloss, I guess. And maybe I would try those, but I don't know about the other ones. Hmm. So number nine is called Polar. So this one is kind of more like a cool red, I guess, more of a cool tone. Mm -hmm. I guess that's why it's called that. This is kind of fun, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's all I've got to say. It's kind of fun. Wait, did I t show you guys the other ones? Oh god, I have no clue. Oh, this one's like quite frankly, like this one's very different, more pinkish than red, which the previous ones have been a bit more red. So in order, the reds go from up to down. It goes one, melting, two, joyful, three, Percy red, four, burnt heart, eight, icy. 9 polar and then 10 fever which we are going to get into so the next one as i just said is fever and that's the number 10 so let's go try that too yeah but as, as i was saying this one's more pink the very last one you can kind of tell sorry i'm such a bad beauty guru but to be fair it's my first time doing this so i think i deserve a break Okay, they're all like quite like similar, but then not so similar at the same time. Like I would say all of them are on the red side, except for the second last one, which is a bit more pink. And maybe these two are a bit more burgundy. And so here is the last one. And the last one is just called um, Fever, as I said. So that is my little, what do you call these? samples I don't know I, st I still have the eye glitter on my face and on my legs so later when I shower I'm gonna have to remember to wash that off and I also have more makeup yes who asked for this I don't know and as I was saying I watched Maddie as me's video and a lot of the items were the same or almost all of the items were the same because we participated in the same campaign I guess the same yes Del campaign so yeah that's the case just wanted to tell you guys that i've been enjoying watching her yes style hauls too because she she also recently started buying from yes style and i was like yes i did that to her <laughs> is that a good thing like yes i gave her this yes style addiction to her so we are going to get straight into it so the first thing oh, this is such a mess if you guys see my floor right now it is such a mess uh, the first thing that I have is this, <laughs> such a mess, is this also eye glitter, and let me just try this onto my arm too. Oh, oh, okay. So this eye glitter is a lot thicker, like it's less like, it's more high key compared to those which are a bit more low key. And yeah, you can kind of tell that it really shows on your skin compared to these, which are just kind of like an added sparkle, What where this one is more like thicker. Like, I don't want to say thicker, but I guess that's that. And then we've also got these two cherry lip glows, I guess. This one was the only one in stock, I believe, at the time when I purchased this. I don't know when that was. And I also wanted to get this because apparently it's like this clear lip lip glow thing yeah so let's first see this color which is the red flavor cherry oh yeah i got this because it's like 
breath flavor. Wow, two K-pop mentions in one video. Icy or Red Flavor. Which one, guys? Icy or Red Flavor? Personally, Icy is my favorite um, Itzy cell, but I like Red Flavor because Red Velvet, obviously. Oh, so it's like this lip gloss. Cool. It's very different from the other ones. You can really tell... Ooh, I do not want to drop that. You can really tell it's a lot more low-key compared to the other ones. Should I try this on just because it's a lip gloss? It smells like cherries too. Actually, it smells like peach and cherries. Very delightful. Okay, I need to stop talking to put this on. Yeah. It smells really nice. You can kind of tell my pinks are... My pinks are a bit more lip. My lips are a bit more pink. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's put this back in the box. Yeah, I like this. The scent is very nice. The... Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So it's, it's like that, like the... So I put it on my arm and it's literally just clear. But I saw a review saying that it gets a bit more pink as you apply it. So we'll wait for that to happen. But as you can tell right now, As you can tell right now, it's not really that... Ew, why do I look like that? <laughs> it's not really that pinkish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll see with this one. We'll see where it goes. But I think the other cherry lip glow is really nice for just when you want to add a bit more liveliness to your lips and look less dead. And I also got these other lipsticks, I guess you could call them, and they are the Water Light Tint. Oh, actually, maybe they're not lipsticks. They're also tints. And I got these three colors, and these colors are grapefruit, I think peach, and then uh, peach, and where's the English of this? It's like salgu. Like, what is that in English? I don't know, but I'll link it. I'll link it. I'll link everything. So let's start with the grapefruit, I guess. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's a lip gloss, sorry. Not a lipstick at all. So let me just compare all three. <laughs> My arm is more tinted as time goes. Imagine someone just walking into this, just me applying lipstick and lip gloss onto my arms. That would be so weird. <laughs> so in order, that is... um. Oh god, can you see that? This is an awkward angle, but we're gonna have to go with this. Um, yeah. <laughs> so in order, that is the grapefruit, the peach, and then the unknown color that will be linked, so it won't be unknown to you. And that's just kind of what it looks like. Look at my arm, it looks amazing. Ugh, this is so tiring, <laughs> just to like, raise my arms up like that but hey we're already 30 minutes in and I think I'm going to wash this off first and then get into the more tips yes sell shopping tips of the video and yeah I'm going to do that and maybe I'll change into this top for like the second half of the video just for the fun of it but first I'm going to wash this off because I do and my leg because I do not want to rub off of my new clothes and my new accessories new fuzzy hat that would be terrible if makeup got onto this so let's go oh by the way i i will have to edit this part but i'm not gonna like edit edit i'm just going to splice them together okay guys i am back and at it which shirt do you think looks better on me that this color or this color because personally i prefer this one but who knows you might have different thoughts Maybe this color suits me more. And in this section of the video, we're going to be getting into the Yes Style shopping tips and stuff like that. <laughs> Why do I sound so dead? Yes Style shopping tips and stuff like that. <laughs> also, update. You can kind of still see it, but that's only the, the seven colors that I got. These, 
I mean, like, I didn't wash it for so long, so I don't blame them, but I think it's a little bit more thicker compared to, like, the lip gloss, this one. Like, this one washed off very well, so I'm, I'm happy with this one the most so far. And with that being said, let's get on to the um, yes style tips. So I actually made a document writing down all the tips that I wanted to mention just in case I forgot. And yeah, let's just get into the video now. So a lot of, well, the first question you might have is the shipping. Like how long does it take? Does it take a really long time? Does it deliver to my country? So firstly, you might want to visit the website yourself and see if you uh, if YesStyle does have shipping for your cu country. So literally just go onto the website and it will probably tell you like, oh, d we don't ship to your country, sorry. Um, but if, if it does, great. If it doesn't, I'm so sorry. And how long does it take? They also have that info on their website. So it really differs from country to country. If you live near Hong Kong or more closer in that area, like if you live in Asia, it's probably gonna come a bit more earlier. Compare it as to living in Canada because it literally ships from Hong Kong to Canada. So it does take a bit more time and um, it's gonna be slower if you're ordering in like December, like holiday season, just because they have more orders like that. And especially with COVID, they have like slower postal services, I guess, but you can't blame them for that. It's just postal services and you know, things like that. <laughs> what am I saying? It might be slower because of COVID is my conclusion. And what else? I swear I was going to say something. I swear. I always do this during conversations. And it might just be the most annoying thing ever. Um, do they ship to your... Oh, oh! And not just shipping, but since YesStyle isn't like a like a brand itself, like they get stuff from different companies as well. So it also takes a bit for like... Like this one is like say from Ed Dude House then it takes time from them to get it from Etude House to the Yesdale Warehouse. And then when that when that's ready, they ship it from the Yesdale Warehouse, which is in Hong Kong, in, to your country. So that takes a bit more time. And you have to kind of understand that too. So that's kind of how shipping works. Um, it does take a while, but I promise you it's worth it. And some orders do get canceled. And that kind of sucks. But it honestly is that for Oni any other online shopping place and you might want to read whenever there's a product there will be like for every single product literally just click into anything and it'll be like okay so this one comes in for seven to 14 days so that's kind of like the estimated amount of time that takes from that actual company to get it into the ESL warehouse so the shorter that is the better so right now it says like in stock I just kind of clicked onto a random product this strappy a-line dress and it says in stock 24 hours the black large but the black medium is in stock three to five days so it takes three to five days to for it to come and then black small is seven to 14 days so if your size was large then that would be perfect you should probably go for large but if your um, size is small then it's going to take a longer time for it to come and this is different for every item that you choose so you want to check that out it literally just says that there here i'll show you guys it literally just says that here so it's very easy to check if like when it's going to come so that's kind of that and the next category we're going to jump into is the sizing so sometimes sizing can be a little off because you are ordering online and you don't and you can't try it on obviously so the first thing you should do is read the reviews so a lot of the reviews will be like oh this was way too small for me please size up or some of them will be like oh this was too large for me just go to a regular size or maybe even one down but usually the comments or the reviews will be saying to size up but you've really got to check the reviews for that um, i don't see a lot of reviews saying this was too large so yeah and the next thing you can do is the description. So a lot of people think that the description is wrong, but no, it's really not. It's, they'll give you the sizing. So like the waist sizing, like, I don't know, for pants, 
the length, the total length, and you know, a bunch of things like that. So you can literally just measure yourself. And if you don't know, you should probably have like a vague idea of what size you are. So for me, my vague idea of what size I am is small to a medium. So I usually go to that. I usually don't even touch the large to X large section because I know it's not going to really be my size. So yeah. And if it's a crop top or like a shirt, size up. They usually tend to run a little bit smaller for some reason on YesStyle. So I'm pretty sure this one was a... Oh, this one was just one size. One size fits me well. And I am 161 centimeters and like, what was my weight? Like 43 kilograms. So you can convert that into your thing. But yeah, one size tends to work really well for me just because it's exactly my size. But... For some of them, oops, sorry, that was just my alarm clock. But with some of them, I might want to get a small instead of a medium. For example, take the skirt. It was a bit big because I got a medium, but I probably should have gotten a small. But that's honestly my, my fault because I don't know my skirt sizing, I guess. And yeah, so just read the reviews and description to see the sizing. And then for a shirt, size up. And then for pants, which is honestly the hardest to kind of see what size you are i guess it really differs but for usually like usually for jeans don't size up just go with your regular size because they can be a little bit a little bit longer if you size up and for other types like sweatpants or cargo pants you might want to size up depending on the reviews or just go with your regular size so it really just depends on the item i can't really tell you that like this one you should size up, this one you should size down, unless like I'm doing a review like right now, like I just said like the skirt just go with your normal size, this one it's just one size so I don't really have anything to say about. So um, yeah, that's basically it. Oh I just realized I got the medium bucket hat, maybe there was a small, oh I wish I got a small, <laughs> it would look so cute on me. This was like freaking fit my dad's head. <laughs> And he's not going to wear this out. <laughs> That'll be funny though. And the next thing is talking about the reviews. So the reviews tend to determine the quality of the products and just like the overall review, right? That's why the review section is there. And I think that's kind of one of the best things about YesStyle is you can see other people's opinions about it. Yeah. So anything under 3.9, because it's out of 5 stars, anything under 3.9, I usually stay away from unless it unless the reviews are like, oh, I thought it was going to be more oversized, but it wasn't. Because usually those aren't that big of a problem. You can just size up from that. Um, but anything under 3.9, I get a little skeptical about, I guess. But anything over that, I'm fine with. Unless like the reviews are like, this material <laughs> was so scratchy. And I will probably not do that because I don't like scratchy fabric. I actually haven't had any bad scratchy fabric from YesStyle so far, which is honestly amazing. Literally, like what I wore like the like today for school was this cardigan for my last YesStyle haul. It was very soft and I was very delighted with that. And uh, right. So sizing is really important. As I said, you can kind of tell the sizing from the reviews. And you can also tell the actual quality, the style, the thickness of the product through the pictures and the reviews. And if there are no reviews, which is kind of a problem, maybe you don't want to order that, but say you really, really want this so bad, but there are no reviews, then go to the brand or company rating. So on the top right, it should say like the brand name, the company name. So this could be Monroll or what are some other brands i totally forgot but you know it could be anything and go to that and then they'll also have a company rating so they have an item rating but they also have an overall company rating and that's also out of five so you can kind of check that as well and if it's like one out of five you probably don't want to order that and just check the stars how many stars there are and you should probably just be able to judge through that and most of the time, the more reviews, the better, because it's more popular. That probably means more people choose to buy it more often. So more reviews, the better, but not always, I guess. It's like most of the time kind of thing. Yeah, but reviews are really significant in 
the quality of the product for me i really really like apart from reviews i really like watching yes style hauls on youtube so i'll just kind of see what other people have to do or what other people have to say about it and you know apart from just reading the reviews i also watch youtube videos on it which honestly i think is better because they're actually moving talking showing you guys the product and being like oh this is so soft or being like oh this is the most trash thing i've ever seen it's not it's not it's just it's just a little big okay so yeah <laughs> and other tips that i have is instead of adding an item that you want into your cart say you're just kind of like eye shopping and later on when you get your paycheck you might buy um then i recommend not putting it into your cart and add it into your saved items so that's kind of like the hard thing like like your favorites section i guess and if suddenly something like goes out of stock and you wanted it really bad but then you forgot what the item's name was if it, it if it is suddenly out of stock it gets removed from the cart but if you put it into your saved items, it won't be removed from your saved items. It, it'll just be like out of stock. And so later on, you can check that later. But if you put it in your cart, you won't be able to see it again. Is basically what I'm trying to say. And I have a lot of stuff in my saved items. If I literally just go onto the YesStyle website right now, I can probably check how many saved items I have. And I used to, I think my max items that I have was like, 400 which was unhealthy but i removed some because i got new clothes obviously and i was a little bit more picky with what i add into my saved items so right now i have 230 items and if you saw my last video i don't know if it'll be the last video but if you saw my shop with me on yesl video you'll know i have a lot of things in my saved items and yeah and I also wanted to mention that the popular items, the one where if you search it and then the top ones kind of pop up, they're popular for a reason. Like whether it's just the style of it, the trend going on, like if bucket hats are in trend, then a bucket hat is probably going to be on top of that search list. But also quality and price. Like people choose these items for a reason, not just for no reason and yeah they're popular for a reason is kind of what i want to say yeah and i also wanted to mention that i kind of touched on it earlier but tops are a lot less riskier than pants so if you're looking for like everything to be perfect on you then go for tops rather than pants because pants can honestly just be like not your size not your style the pants that I ordered have been amazing so far but i do have to admit that i felt a lot more safe ordering um what the i've been signed out of my own google docs account that's crazy um let me just sign back in <laughs> yeah um what, what was i saying yeah tops are less riskier than pants yes that is the conclusion the next thing are oh i also wanted to talk about hair items like clips or headbands or any accessories are quite good quality despite what you might think like this thing is very strong it doesn't feel cheap at all it it's very good and they're good quality but don't expect them to last like a decade or anything like that it is what you pay for like the price can probably tell you everything but compared to what you're paying for i think it's a very good reasonable offer so i do recommend accessories hair clips necklaces stuff like that so yeah and the next the last tip that i have is to stick with the brands that you've already bought from and if you haven't bought from or purchased from YesStyle yet, um, choose the ones that have good reviews, like the good company reviews. So I think the company is important too. If you go into a company, like click on, and then you see that none of their items have reviews, you probably don't want to go for that because that probably means that YesStyle hasn't really promoted them and like YesStyle hasn't really, like it's on the website obviously for a reason, but they haven't really been sending it often to customers if that makes sense so yeah i think that's all of the tips that i have if you guys are interested in purchasing make sure to use my code lovey irene all caps i'll have it in the description i'll have it in the description everything is linked as i said and i also want you guys to comment like whether you like this one or this one because it's like a serious question i'm asking you like seriously which one is better which one looks better on me and 
what else did I want to mention? Oh, if you are interested in seeing more Yes Style Haul with Yes Style Hauls, which are coming soon, I actually really like doing this podcast. Kind of like more chill, more openly first impressions kind of thing. Because usually my um, other Yes Style Hauls on my other channel tend to go a little bit longer, I guess. And I try to like make it as fast as possible. But anyways, if you are interested in that, I'll leave a link for all of the yes style hauls before and i really hope you enjoyed this video i had a tons 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 of fun making it and i know this video is a little bit shorter than usual it wasn't an hour probably like 40 to 50 minutes um should i just ramble about my life yeah let's do story time man i haven't done that in a while so um story time what, what what's a good story time I swear I was telling a good story to my friends earlier today. <laughs> yeah, during math, like, did I tell you guys, like, during math, my friends and I always, like, talk. Like, not while the teacher is teaching. Like, the teacher doesn't even teach. She's, like, quarantining right now, so we have this sub. And this sub has, like, no idea what's going on. He can't, like, no offense to him. Like, he's actually pretty nice, but, like, he has no idea what's going on, man. He's, like, pretty old. And he has no idea how to do a Google Meet. Yeah. Um, oh, I can raise my eyebrows now. Ready? <laughs> I love that so much. I used to struggle with this. I, I was like, I used to watch a show called Lab Rats on Disney Plus or Disney, just Disney or Netflix. I don't know where I watched it, but like in like grade three, grade two, I don't know. It was called Lab Rats. I remember it was one of my favorite shows and there's this guy named Marcus. And he always raises his eyebrows because he's like one sketchy dude, man. And I was like, wow, that's great. Like, how does one do such amazing, uh, amazing, amazing things like that? Raising his eyebrows. And now I can do it. Like, look. But I have to like think of something like to raise my eyebrows at. So I just, every time I just think of like, oh, like me going like that. <laughs> I could be a great actress. Yes. Look at me. <laughs> the questionable face that's my best look so far yeah but i'm so excited to try these i was actually just looking for like a crop top to wear under my hoodies and i think i found it i've been really liking crop tops lately not cropped crop tops like this one isn't even that cropped like you can't see my stomach right now right but i kind of want like ones that are like shorter that like literally and just just above my jeans or my leggings so that I don't have to tuck it in and all that uncomfortable stuff. So yeah, <laughs> that's kind of what my life is at. I wonder how many minutes is this because I split the video in half, right? So mm -hmm. if, you, if you're like not interested in this, go leave. I honestly don't even care. But if you are bored and you're interested in me talking and rambling, yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to talk about. Like, I'm literally just rambling. Anyway, if you made it until here, like literally comment that you made it until here. Like say, say potato, potato chips are great because I love potato chips. Yeah, comment that. Potato chips are great because I love potato chips. Comment that in the comment section. If you're watching the premiere, then make sure to comment down below, not in the premiere chat section because I want to see how many people actually laughed. Chips. Oh, I want to tell a story. This is like so not interesting, but maybe Maybe you guys might care. So, um, yeah recently or a few days ago I was like, oh god, I'm so not hungry But I want something to chew on, you know, like sometimes you have those moments where it's like I'm not hungry at all, but my mouth is a little bit bored So I I was like mom, what should I eat? And she was like, how about you try these chips that we bought earlier and I was like okay and they were these sweet potato chips and I actually really like sweet potato it, it's nice and I ate them and they were really good they were like they felt very organic I guess yeah mm -hmm. and there were like three different flavors I guess within the chips so there was like this like purple um sweet potato I forgot the name and then there's this lighter one and then this darker sweet potato and they all taste very good i don't know the brand of it because i forgot and mm -hmm. and it's kind of salty too some of them are salty like it's very like 
some of them are salty some of them aren't i think it's because it's like very organic and not like manufactured at some factory it actually tastes very organic i've been saying that a lot but it's true it tastes very nice and i also have a class in an hour and i also want to shower so that's kind of should i shower after my class because it's like 4 10 right now or 5 10 right now i have class in six and i don't want to like enter it's just an online class, but still, I don't want to enter a class where my hair is all wet because that just looks bad. And there's this cute guy in my class. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Like, no, no, I don't. I don't. I didn't mean that. Oh my God. I really hope someone isn't watching this. That would be a problem. No, I, I meant that as a joke. Some people don't understand my jokes. So <laughs> yeah, I really hope guys from my class aren't watching this. Yeah, you guys were like the last premiere chat. You guys were all about Kevin, Kevin and his Google profile, and now his nickname is Google, or yeah, Google. Mm -hmm. Honestly, we don't talk a lot in class. Like I'm gonna be honest, we don't. <laughs> like the only class we have together is like math, and oh, I know a funny story. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll tell you to you after this, after I finish. Yeah, in math, I just talk with Grace and Ivy. Shout outs to you guys, I guess. They're like basic names, so I can say it. But if it was like really like unique names, then I probably wouldn't say it <laughs> because privacy, obviously. But there are like millions of Graces and Ivy's out there, so it's okay. And millions of Kevins too. Mm -hmm. That's they're all pretty like common names. Yeah. Oh, okay. So the funny story was today I um like my sister didn't go to school because it was like a PD day or like like conference day. It was a conference day. Yeah. And um, so my mom didn't pack a lunch and so my friends and I went to go outside to get pizza because our school is literally in the middle of downtown so we could literally just go get anything we want. It's just very expensive because it's in the middle of downtown. And so actually I'm the only one who got pizza because everyone else brought their lunches but it's okay like we do it every day, almost every day we go outside unless we have like this big test that we want to study for. And yeah, we went outside and then one of the friends, well actually I'm not gonna say her name because her name's pretty unique. <laughs> Let's call her A, even though her name does not start with an A. I think like person A, person B, person C, you, you get the point. And person A or friend A goes, oh my God, these kids in your class were watching your videos. And I was like, really, who was it? I bet it was Kevin. And she was like, yeah, I think it's Kevin. Yeah, the short Asian guy. And I was like, that's Kevin <laughs> and so yeah they watched my videos and I wasn't in that class because they have chemistry and in that time I have business so apparently they were watching my videos with and later on in math class I was like hmm I heard you were watching my videos in chem class and and Kevin was like yeah mm-hmm what the, what else oh yeah we watched it with the boys and I was like who are the boys is this some SNSD song? I didn't say that to his face because he wouldn't know what that means. It's K-pop, if you don't know. <laughs> it's a girl's generation song. And yeah, that was basically it. I don't know why I dramatize that so much. I feel like some, sorry, I'm just playing with this necklace. I feel like some stories are just like so much better inside your head and so much more funnier inside your head. Look at this ASM already. noise <laughs> asmr stopped okay um this is this is so random of a podcast i'm so sorry for those who have to watch this i mean you did click onto it so it's kind of your fault if you waited until here wow like the dedication you have or maybe you're just really bored because we all have those days where we're so bored and we just need to watch something and here comes this podcast girl <laughs> uploading a new video and so you have to watch it well um i'm gonna probably go shower it's 5 14 right now so maybe i want to shower for like i don't know let's take t 10 minutes for me and then i'm going to go to my class yay actually it's not that much of a yay. now i just realized you can see my blankets okay you know what fine you can get a shout out blanket it's very soft actually i have two blankets I have that one, and then I also have this one. This is like a white one. That's my outer blanket. Yeah. Be on my level. Have two blankets. <laughs> no, yeah. 
I'm just kidding. And I also have this, but I don't really like put it on. Obviously my red velvet blanket. It's like the best blanket ever. Love it. So thank you for watching this video for the final time. I'm going to actually end this video. I've actually got to go to class and clean this mess up. Thank you for watching guys. If you made it until here, comment. Potatoes are salty. Yeah. Okay. Bye. <laughs>